everyone, my name is Dennis Lozada and I am the chili pepper breeder at the chili pepper breeding program here at New Mexico State University. Right now we are standing here at the Chili Pepper Institute Teaching Garden wherein we, we showcase the diversity in terms of how chili pepper looks like in terms of the food, shape, size, color and, and even just the, the growth habit we can see here many many different types diverse types of chili peppers and we all know that each pepper or each um, plant chili pepper plant has its DNA or those sequences of, of nucleotides that control how your plant will look like and currently at the breeding program here at NMSU, we have been looking at what we call single nucleotide polymorphisms. So these are differences in terms of the sequences, single base pair sequences of the chili pepper plant. And do you know that even a single base pair difference can cause changes in terms of appearance, fruit color, texture, and, and even height or how your chili pepper looks like. Another thing that we're looking at right now is just the fruit morphology, architecture and, and shape of your chili pepper plant. So we can see here that chili peppers have, can have either elongated shape type or they can also have circular or oblong type. So it depends on which chili pepper we have. And all of these traits are controlled by the differences in your sequence on the DNA. And, and we're looking at which part, which part of the sequence actually controls this variation. And when we know which part controls this variation, then we know how, how to breed for them, how to improve them, how to work on the breeding and the selection process. We hope that at the end, we will apply information on DNA sequences to, to look at um, the variation in, in terms of different traits, including yield, and how to improve yield and, and yield potential, and even, even making or developing varieties that are resistant to various pests and diseases, improve fruit quality, flavor, and, and the overall uh, quality of, of your chili pepper plant for the people here in New Mexico, and, and even beyond New Mexico for all the chili heads out there. And again, thank you very much for, for listening, and. I hope you can visit us here at the Chili Pepper Institute Teaching Garden here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Gracias.